Chris Pants wearing Griffle Grabbers. It is me, some of us do want, coming at you for a Star Trek Online official Star Trek collection. Yes, we're going to be doing Star Trek Online ships. Um, yeah, um, I've still got a few of the um, Star Trek Star, Star Trek the official Star Trek collection ships to do. But I got this one because I'm starting this one when this ends because I've got all the ships now. Missing two. I'm missing the regular space station and regular one and... Um, the um, Cardassian weapons platform and some of the shuttles, but they're expensive still. So, um, if you can help out by donating my Patreon, that'd be brilliant. I can get them reviews done to you, done for you. Um, yeah. So, um, as as the main line has pretty much finished, although they did announce um, Relay Relay Station Forty Seven, which was kind of out of the blue. But there you go. <clears throat> I'm gonna join these ones. Star Trek the official Star Star Trek Online. Official Star Trek collection. Um, yeah, they've got a smaller magazine. So this is the normal magazine. Yes, this is the Boat the Cage special. Um, keep uh, keep your eye on that one. I will be doing that soon. And this is the um, online one. As you can see, it's a much smaller magazine. I'm in two minds. I quite like the big original format, but then again, I quite like these. These are easy to read. Um, you know, easy to hold. Um, so I just want to show the difference. Um, we'll put that down there because that is going to be reviewed soon. And as per usual, the ship itself. But more on that in a wee while. So I'm going to doing doing this a little bit different because, I, like I said, this comes from Star Trek Online, which I really do play. Um, it's a great game. Oh, excuse me. If you're a Star Trek fan and you like video games, check it out. You can get it on Xbox One and PS5 and um, PC as well. So yeah. So we got there's the front cover of the USS Gagarin. NCC 97930. Uh, uh, we don't have any specifications. We've just got a few um, images of the ship itself and how to attach the uh, the mount there. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a terrible frog in my throat. Um, and then we've got a lovely CG render of the ship there from, from the game, I think. That's lovely. That's a real cool angle. And it says, uh, in the 25th century, Starfleet finds inspiration from the past to bring a new generation of ships to life. The 25th century USS Gagarin um, inherits the legacy service of sacrifice from the 23rd century namesake. So basically, it's a sh it's a updated version of the ship seen in Discovery. But this design is good. Um, yeah, so it looks like they've taken a ship design and made it better. Um, but I'm not getting into that now. <laughs> so we've got some um, CG renders of the ship there from the game, and as you can see, it looks really cool. Um, really cool. I don't fly. Do you know? But funny enough, I've not seen one of these in game, and I don't fly one of these. I fly a Mirror Universe uh, Galaxy Dreadnought. You know, the three nacelles and the Phaser Lance. Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. Um, and then we've got some topographical view there of the um, Kagarin, which is very nice indeed. Um, I always like those. Um, now, if they could um, give us posters of these, just the topographical views of these ships, I'd have them posted all over all of my geek space here. Um, data. Uh, the Kagarin class follows the success of the Avenger class battlecruiser that saw service in 2409 Klingon War. The Gagarin's advanced power management systems represent the impressive leap forward from its predecessor. And it's a Starfleet battlecruiser, length 42, 492. 0.2 meters, crew 550, commission 2410. And then we've got design in the USS Gagarin, and we've got some. Um, so, taking that, actually, that ship's not a bad design, to be fair, of all the Discovery ships. Um, and then they've updated it into, you know, and then you can see like they've taken different design and then just like tweaked it here and there and coloured it differently and just see what var variants they could get out of it. And do you know what's pretty cool? Um, so it goes into <coughs> excuse me. So it goes into um, um, designing the ship there, and it carries on. Then we've got like the usually you get this image, this kind of image from when they are advertising it on Star Trek Online itself, you know, in the um, C store or the um, you know, or just on the website itself. Um, it tells you all the various capabilities and stuff like that. And then we've got it in in flight there, which is really cool. Yeah, and we've got yard. We've got some still law. Um, yard thirty nine in Star Trek Online, twenty fifth century. Long lost shipyard holds a trove of secrets from Starfleet's past. So it's a mission you got to do. 
Um, and, it's, and it tells you all about the mission there. I'm not going to go into it because if you've not played it, you need to go play it. Um, and it's in the Talar sector at TL9139, um, which is just there. So you get a bit of a star map there, which is pretty cool. And it goes on into the mission as well. And then it says, yeah, 39 Starship Modernization Project. And it shows you that they've taken ships from Discovery and then updated them to make them 25th century ships. Um, yeah, just having difficulty focusing there. There we are. So there we are. And then we've got the uh, in-game stats. Now, this is different. Usually, it's, I do the on-screen bit here, but this is the in-game stats. So we get a picture like that, which is actually taken from the game, which is really cool. So the stats it gets is type it's battle cruiser, tier six, hull fifty six thousand two hundred fifty, turn rate seven point five, inertia rate in fifty, um, bonus power plus fifteen to weapons, plus five to shields, plus ten to engines. So it's got three device slots, um, and it's got um, weapon slots of five facing forward, three facing aft, and the bridge officers <coughs> you've got. Looks like a um, tactical lieutenant commander, um, specialist lieutenant, tactical. Then you've got a specialist engineer commander. Then you've got an ensign med um, science. And then you've got a lieutenant commander um, universal. Now universals are very, very useful. Um, they're always good to stick another science officer or another engineer there. And then you've got console slots. You've got three tactical, five engineering um, two science and I think that's one is you is universal or experimental I'm not quite sure what that logo is because I've not seen that logo before I don't know if you can be picking it out there um, that one there I think it's I think it's the uh, universal one and then you got console power you got refracting energy shunt doesn't tell you what it is there ship mastery is entwined tactical mat matrices and then specialization miracle worker um, innovation mechanic so there we go, which is quite cool. I like to go put the game stats in there, which is really nice. And then next issue, we've got the, um, the issue number two is the USS Chimera. So yeah, we'll get on to that. We'll get on to that. And then we've got a nice image of the ship itself. So it's a bit scratched, that one, but never mind. Um, so yeah, so nice, good magazine. So we'll put that over there. And then join me, shan't you, for a bit of this. And there we have the ship itself, and as you can see, it is very nice, very nice indeed. So I'll just take it off the stand. Um, yeah, I am impressed with this one, actually. It's got a really cool, it's kind of a sovereign kind of look to it, with these, um, you know, these the way these details go there, and these big black mark, uh, black uh, sections go there. We'll just zoom it in so we can see what we're doing. And then we've got the register number, 97930, USS, USS Gagarin. I'm not sure what, if that's chip paint there or not, I've just noticed. Um, <clears throat> and you've got these, the pinstriping with the phaser arrays and stuff like that. And then you've got the escape pods there, main bridge, uh, more escape pods as well. Some really nice sculpted detail. The windows appear to be in line, which is a rarity. And then we've got the aft section there, and then you've got another... I think that's supposed to be a phaser array there. Yeah, USS Kagarin and then NCC 797930. And you got these um, grates there. Could be sensor pallets, I'm not quite sure. And then you got there, you've got the impulse engines. Uh, USS Kagarin again. Shuttle bay in between, nestled in there. Um, and then we'll look at the bottom section. Um, again, USS Kagarin there. And then NCC 973. Uh, 97930 can't even read it anymore <clears throat> and then you get this is I'm guessing the deflector dish at the front there um, it could have been painted blue but there you go, oh no there's the deflector dish right there <laughs> yeah the deflector dish is right there um, yeah so it's got some really nice detail in there especially in the in the main hall there uh, the phaser, phaser bank um, little you know, semicircle things are really out of whack there and there as well. The windows on the bottom of here are really out of alignment. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, never mind, never mind. Um, but other than that, it's pretty cool. I do like it. And I like these three um, red lines there that sort of branch off and then sort of stop. And then you've got the one that goes around the middle there. And you've got the ones that go around the centre. 
Um, we'll have a look at the Nacelles. Um, we got USS Skagarin again. And you got the Starfleet Insignia. Clear plastic nacelles. Uh, nothing in the in the nacelles. Uh, buzz eye collectors. That's a buzz eye collector. You can tell it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, yeah, they should they should have been filled in with, with um, plastic. And yes, my fingernails need cutting. They are they grow incredibly fast. But no, I think overall, I think it's a really nice ship. Um, yeah, taking a not so good design, one of the better designs from Discovery, and make it into something a little bit better. You know, um, you could easily throw this into you know first contact and call it a day. You know, and I do like the where the nacelles are, kind of like a Romulan warbird. So you got like two nacelle pylons going across, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, it's very nice. Very nice, highly recommended. Um, and as somebody was saying to me the other day, is this the same size as the other ships? And is is the assimilated Voyager because it was just up to hand? And yes, they are comparable in size, pretty much. I mean, very. I mean, Voyager's a little bit. Uh, it's about the same same size. I can't zoom it out quicker. Uh, further out, should I say? Yeah, they're roughly about the same size, give or take. So these these will fit into your normal collection as per usual. Um, but if you're after discovery ships, then no, nah, um, they're they're a little bit too big. Um, so yeah, so it just fits on the stand, and the stand says Yusuf Gagarin, and it is uh, first run. Um, and then we put that on the stand when it wants to go, and it does sit securely in the stand. That ain't gonna come out unless you pull it out. Um, and that's it, and that's the USS Gagarin. Um, it's very nice. Um, um, highly recommended. Um, especially if you want to put it with your later Starfleet ships, like your Borg Buster Armada and stuff like that, that would fit in there very nicely indeed. So, if you like what I do, why not hit that subscribe button and hit, caress, uh, punch the like button. Um, it boosts the channel, um, shows that people are watching the videos and adds me to the algorithm and stuff like that. Um and if you would, um, if you'd like to donate, please, please check out my Patreon. I've got some cool rewards over there, um, and I can keep the likes on um, shares thrust and give you bigger, better, more reviews. Um, yeah, and get, get more equipment and just make it all around better, you know. Um, but you don't have to. But if you, if you would, if you would like to, that'd be awesome too. Um, and yeah, check out my other um, Star Trek reviews, which will be down here somewhere. And thanks for watching, and I will catch you all very soon. Bye for now.